Hello everyone, it is my pleasure to join you virtually today to celebrate and honor the brave whistleblowers who shine a light on wrongdoing to make our government safer, more efficient, and more accountable. I am Special Counsel Henry Kerner, and I lead the U.S. Office of Special Counsel, an independent federal agency that works with whistleblowers to expose waste, fraud, and abuse. As a watchdog agency charged with protecting the rights of roughly 2.1 million civil servants working across the nation and around the world, OSC provides a safe channel for federal employee whistleblowers to make disclosures of agency wrongdoing. Most importantly, OSC is charged with protecting federal whistleblowers from retaliation. This is an essential responsibility for us. For potential whistleblowers to come forward, they must have confidence that three things will happen. First, that they will be heard. Second, that there is a reasonable chance the underlying problem will be addressed. And third, that they will be protected from retaliation once they speak up. OSC's dedicated staff works hard every day to secure these assurances for our whistleblowers. Today, I want to speak about one specific type of disclosure which is often filed with OSC, dangers to public health and safety. With the arrival of the COVID-19 pandemic, OSC started receiving a number of complaints about insufficient personal protective equipment, PPE, and dangerous workplaces. Soon thereafter, we also started receiving related complaints of retaliation. In response, in the spring of 2020, OSC established an internal coronavirus task force to bring additional resources to bear and to enhance communication across our multiple units handling these cases. This coordinated effort has ensured the swift assessment of COVID-related disclosures, resulting in their rapid referral for investigation where appropriate, or prompt course corrections where OSC intervenes early to put the parties on a better path before more significant harm develops. Our employees are keenly aware that handling these disclosures efficiently could, and in fact did, save lives. We all know last year was a difficult one for everyone. It was no different for the dedicated public servants at OSC. In order to prioritize their health and well-being, we closed the physical offices on March 16, 2020, and transitioned to precautionary, mandatory telework. This was largely uncharted territory for us. But I'm proud to report that last year, while most of our employees were teleworking safely from their homes, OSC achieved a record number of favorable outcomes for whistleblowers. Disclosures processed by OSC resulted in improved aviation safety, better care for veterans at VA hospitals, and safer workplaces across the federal government. Our mission is nonpartisan. By creating a principle with a five-year fixed term, Congress intended that the special counsel be independent from political influence, regardless of which party controls the White House. During my tenure, OSC has worked closely with congressional and agency leaders from both parties to develop productive relationships. We have renewed our efforts under the new administration to advocate for a strong, bipartisan culture of whistleblower support. So today, on National Whistleblower Appreciation Day, OSC joins federal agencies and departments in recognition of whistleblowers, and we honor every individual who has bravely shined a light on wrongdoing. Thank you.